Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And the price increase from AT&T is now official, 100% official from Bloomberg. I've seen the documents a little bit earlier. S -s Some of you that follow the channel, you guys already knew this was coming. And it's here now. So let's go over this. So AT&T raises prices on wireless plans to address higher costs. This was, this was done internally a few weeks ago, maybe even a month or so ago. This was talked about. And then we got the Wall Street Journal article. Stanky kind of played it off at the earnings calls. But I told you guys this was coming. So it's, like I said in the previous video, it's $6 for a single line and $12 for multi-lines. That's not per line, it's per the account. So if you have a single line, your account is going to go up by $6. And if you have multiple lines, your account will increase by $12. So I just want to read that off briefly. AT&T is raising prices on mobile service plans in effort to squeeze more revenue from customers and blunt the effects of quickening inflation. So they're, they're, they're trying to offset this per the inflation, which you already knew. As you can see, $6 a month for single line, $12 a month for family lines. So we already addressed that. So essentially, who's going to be affected by this? It's legacy customers. So if you have any plans that are no longer sold, you are affected by this. So let me kind of clarify. So if you have the unlimited your way, you are fine. If you have any of the, uh, at least from what I'm told, if you have any of the premium, uh, not the premium, the, the, the unlimited plans before, the, the ones that, that came out before the uh, tiered data was brought back by AT&T, those are going to be affected by the increase as well if, uh, as well as legacy tiered plans as well. I don't remember the name of those tiered plans, but those are affected as well. And AT&T is trying to offset this negative news for the subscribers by saying subscribers will have the option to avoid the price hike by switching to new unlimited plans to carry a set. So essentially, AT&T is signaling now by that statement that older plans are going to be more expensive versus the newer ones that are out. So how does it make sense that you're offsetting this this price increase is supposed to offset the inflation when by that statement you're saying that your new plans are cheaper than the $12 price increase potentially? I, I, I don't understand this. That doesn't make any sense to me. Let me know in the comment section down below if, if, if I may be reading that wrong, but it clearly says subscribers will have the option to avoid the price hike by switching to new unlimited plans. So are they saying the new unlimited plans are cheaper? And then where do you make money on that if if you are doing the price increase for the legacy customers for the price increase? So it essentially, you're increasing pricing for grandfathered plans. And if they don't switch to newer plans, then they're going to be stuck with the pay and the price increase. So very interesting um, take here. John Stanky says there's about with, you know, way, wages rising, all the equipment going up in price. He says there's about a billion dollars that the company would have to endure if they don't increase pricing. Again, they, they are pretty much, instead of making, for example, instead of making $40 billion in profit, they would only make $39 billion in profit. That's how silly this price increase is, in my opinion. And it's the wrong time. I think that he picked the wrong time to do this price increase so let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below do you think this is now the path for the other carriers to increase pricing do you think they won't increase pricing let me know in the comment section down below i look forward to reading all your guys's comments make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for more again most of you that have been on the channel knew about this already so this is nothing new this is just now official like i said in these in, in, in some of the comments that i make in the videos it's not official until we see it official. And until it's official, it's unconfirmed and just speculation. 
So thanks for staying tuned. Like, share, subscribe, follow the social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See you in the next one. Peace.